The deep rift between China and Taiwan dates back to China's civil war between nationalists and communists, which began in 1927. At that time, China was ruled by the nationalist Kuomintang, led by Chiang Kai-shek. In 1928, Chiang took over as the leader of the country. He finally lost the war to Mao Zedong's communist forces in 1949 and fled to Taiwan, where he set up a separate government. Since then, China and Taiwan have been ruled separately. Taiwan is now a democracy. Known as the Republic of China, it sees itself as a separate state with its own currency, political and judicial systems. But it is not recognized by the UN and has never declared formal independence from mainland China. The People's Republic of China, an autocratic communist state, considers Taiwan to be its territory and has never ruled out using force to take it back, especially if it declares independence. In 1992, Taiwan's then KMT government and mainland China agreed that there was only one China with both sides agreeing to disagree over who represents China. Countries must choose which territory represents one China. Most including the United States have chosen Beijing, many of them before 1992. Most people in Taiwan today are keen to explore warmer relations with the mainland, especially when it comes to trade, but many also oppose China's proposal to unite Taiwan and the mainland. Increasingly aggressive rhetoric from China in recent years has only increased the popularity of Taiwan's independence movement. For more informative videos like this, keep watching India Today Newsmo.